Welcome to the Ultimate Chess Experience. In this channel, you'll find the best strategies, tactics, and analyses of the most exciting chess games played by the world's greatest chess players. Whether you're a beginner or an advanced chess enthusiast, you're sure to learn something new and exciting every time you tune in. So grab your favorite chess board, sit back, and get ready to experience the game of kings like never before. Today, we have an exciting game between Rabkafusui, playing as white, and Ikwen underscore Nazir, playing as black, in a live chess tournament on chess.com, 1. E4 E5, the game begins with the most popular opening moves in chess. White starts with the king's pawn, and black responds symmetrically with their own king's pawn. 2. Bc4 circa 6, white brings their bishop out to attack black's pawn, but black defends it with their pawn. The bishop's opening is a chess opening that begins with the moves 1, e4 followed by 2, bc4. This opening aims to control the center and develop the bishop to an active square. The philidor counterattack is a response to the bishop's opening that begins with 2, c6. The idea behind this move is to challenge white's control of the center and prepare for a pawn push to d5. This move also prepares the way for black's dark squared bishop to be developed to c5 or b4. The philidor counterattack is a solid and flexible choice for black that can lead to a variety of positions depending on white's response. With accurate play, black can achieve a quality and even a slight advantage in the game. Overall, the bishop's opening, philidor counterattack is a dynamic and interesting opening that is worth exploring for both beginners and advanced players alike. Continue to the game on move 3. Qf3 d5. White's queen moves out early in the game, but black immediately challenges it by attacking white's pawn with their pawn. 4. Bx d5 cx d5. White captures black's pawn, and black recaptures with their pawn. 5. Bx d5 nf6. White attacks black's pawn again, but black defends it with their knight, threatening to capture white's bishop. 6. Bb3 bc5. White moves their bishop back to avoid capture, and black develops their bishop to an active square, eyeing white's weakened kingside. 7. Bar 4 bd7. White attempts to gain control of the center by attacking black's bishop, but black sacrifices their bishop to develop their knight and gain time. 8. Bxd7 qxd7. White captures black's bishop, but in the process, they also trade their bishop for black's queen knight. 9. h300. White moves their pawn to prevent black's knight from jumping to g4, but black castles their king to safety. 10. Ne2 nc6. White moves their knight to defend their pawn, but black continues to develop their pieces, preparing to bring their rooks into the game. 11. Oe4. White castles their king to safety, but black advances their pawn to attack white's center. 12. Qb3 rfe8. White's queen moves back, and black brings their rook into the game, aiming at white's e-pawn. 13. NBC3 and 4. White's knight moves to an active square to attack black's queen, but black ignores the threat and attacks white's c-pawn. 14. QC4 b6. White's queen moves back to defend their pawn, and black continues to develop their pieces, attacking white's queen. 15. NXD4 bxd4. White captures Black's bishop, and Black recaptures with their pawn, opening up lines for their rooks and putting pressure on White's e-pawn. 16. D3 rack 8. White advances their pawn, trying to gain space and prevent Black's pieces from infiltrating their position, but Black continues to put pressure on White's center. 17. QB4 BC5. White moves their queen's bishop to attack Black's queen, but Black attacks White's queen in response, forcing White's queen to retreat. 18. Qc4 h6. White's queen moves back, and black advances their pawn to secure their position and prevent any potential backrank checkmate threats. 19. Dx e4 nx e4. White moves their queen's bishop to attack black's queen, but black ignores the threat and captures white's pawn with their knight, attacking white's queen. 20. Nx e4 bx f2. White captures black's knight, but in response, black plays a powerful check with their bishop, forcing white's king to move. 21. Nx f2 rx c4. Black captures white's rook with their bishop, and white captures back with their rook. Black now has a material advantage with a bishop and pawn 22. Road 1 qc6. 
Black wants to control the C-file and prepare to advance their pawns on the queen side. The move also puts pressure on the pawn on d5. 23. b3 rx c2. Black continues to advance their pawns and improve their position. 24. Bar 3 re2. Black is now threatening to checkmate white on the second rank. 25. Road 8 kh7. Black moves their king to safety and prepares to bring their rook to the h-file. 26. rf1 rx a2. Black wants to create more pressure on the queen side and put their rook on an active square. 27. bb4 qf6. Black puts pressure on the f2 pawn and creates a double attack on it. 28. Road 2 rax2. Black trades off the rooks and secures their advantage with a material advantage. 29. BXD2 RXD2. Black continues to improve their position and secures their advantage. 30. NE4 QD4. Black checks the king and puts pressure on the knight. 31. NF2 A5. Black continues to advance their pawns on the queen side, putting pressure on white's position. 32. G3 B5. Black continues to make progress on the queen side. 33. G4 A4. Black continues to push their pawns and create weaknesses in white's position. 34. Kg2 AX B3. Black's pawns are now extremely dangerous and white is struggling to find good moves. 35. Kg3 B2. Black's pawn is now only one square away from promoting to a queen. 36. Kh4 Qx f2. Black trades off the queens, simplifying the position. 37. Rx f2 Rx f2. Black is now up a rook and two pawns, and has a completely winning position. 38. G5 b1 equals q. Black is now threatening to promote to a queen. 39. Gx h6 Kx h6. Black captures the pawn, getting closer to a win. 40. Kg4 Qb4. Black checks the king, putting pressure on white's position. 41. Kg3 Qf4. Black checkmates white. What a game. Iquan underscore Nazir played a fantastic game and capitalized on white's mistakes. Black's tactics were precise and their pawn advances on the queen side were very effective. In the end, Black's pressure and strong position led to a checkmate. From this game, there are several lessons that chess players can learn. Firstly, it's important to develop your pieces actively in the opening phase. In this game, Black played 2, c6 and 3, d5, gaining space in the center and challenging white's pawn structure. This allowed Black to develop their pieces more quickly and gain an advantage. Secondly, it's crucial to pay attention to tactical opportunities. Black's 5, nf6 and 6, bc5 attacked white's d5 pawn and threatened a fork on e4. White's response with 7, bar 4 only worsened their position, and black was able to win a pawn. Thirdly, it's important to have a solid plan and to stick to it. Black's plan of developing their pieces quickly, gaining control of the center, and creating threats on the king side was executed effectively. Meanwhile, White's moves seemed random and lacked a clear strategy. Finally, it's important to remain vigilant and not overlook your opponent's threats. White's move 19, h3 was a mistake that allowed black to play 19, nx e4, attacking white's queen and gaining a winning advantage. Overall, the lesson to be learned from this game is the importance of active piece development, tactical awareness, having a solid plan, and remaining vigilant throughout the game. Thanks for tuning into our channel. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to stay up to date with our latest content. And if you want to take your chess game to the next level, be sure to check out our other videos and playlists for more in-depth analyses, tutorials, and strategy guides. Remember, the game of chess is all about strategy, patience, and skill, so keep practicing and we'll see you in the next video.